Hello, my friends. I hope you are well. Let's fix this hair. I hope you are well. We are here to discuss a very interesting topic I had promised you. And of course, not alone. So may I ask you, please, we are live on Facebook and Instagram, and we are waiting for Dr. Alia to join us from Facebook and Instagram together. Uh, can you please tell me whether you can hear me? Hello, Yara, Charles, Sami. We have a very uh, Samir, uh, the Jani Samir. Hello, everyone. I'm looking forward to this very interesting topic tonight. Uh, but I'm interested uh, interested in having uh, Alia join me as soon as possible. Let's see what's happening with her. We are live on both Facebook and Instagram. May I ask you please to tell me with anyone here or there to tell me whether uh, we are visible and you can see us. Alia is not able to join us. Let's try again. This is happening, but everything has a solution in life. That's what we learn. That's what I learn daily, actually, that everything has a solution. Some things are uh, tougher than others. Some uh, situations are tougher than others. But yes, there is always a solution. OK, I hate when this is happening on uh, the generated captions. OK, I turn them off. Dr. Alia, how are you? We are live and missing you. Hi, Badia, how are you? Well, thank you. Thank you, Yara. It's thank you very much. Oh, Yara is from Athens. Hello, Yara. How is the weather in Athens? How are the numbers there? Alia joined. No, Alia, you just said hi. Let me see. Uh, let me resend you the invitation on a beautiful day. I'm glad. I hope the numbers are uh, dropping the number of COVID-19. Uh, actually, two days ago, I was under lockdown until March 8th. Okay, I hope the numbers are uh, normal. Hello, Alia. Let me just drop the voice here. Alia, uh, may I ask you please to put uh, to mute the computer? Mute, mute the computer. computer. Yeah, Actually, yeah. it's fine now. It worked. Let me tell you what happened. Yes, now it's fine. Yes, now. Ah, but what did you do here? Okay, nothing. Uh, actually, yes, we are live both on Facebook and uh, and on uh, Instagram. Uh, may I ask someone on Facebook to tell me whether you can hear me on Facebook? Let me tell you what happened two days ago. Two days ago, actually three days ago, we were very happy at the beginning of the week that the numbers dropped to 1,500. So it was really like a sign of uh, hope. And then suddenly, two days ago on Wednesday, I was with uh, Joel uh, live streaming. And then I, I received the message on the screen in front of me that the number of uh, cases was 3,500. So actually, I froze. <laughs> It wasn't easy. I was shocked, but it happened. Let me see what's that. Oh, no, I don't want that. Let's go back here. So welcome, everyone. 
I hope you are uh, having uh, a nice, uh, you, I hope you had a nice week and I hope you're getting ready to enjoy the weekend. As you all know, we are looking forward to this very unique session with Dr. Alia. It's a session that I love. And since last time, I kept on reading about uh, the body clock. But this time, I'm going to let uh, Dr. Hal Alia introduce it specifically that we're speaking in English and we're directing it as well on Instagram. Dr. Alia, how was your week? Clearly. I don't want to have any problems today. Clearly. <laughs> I'm not in the mood for technical problems. <laughs> we can hear you clearly. So can you remind us what is the key? Do you call it key? Qi. Qi. Qi in Chinese and key is Japanese. Okay. And it is the? The life force, the energy, the movement. Everything that's alive with cells and you know it's the movement of life that was the most interesting thing i heard today that anything that has a movement has a chi okay dr alia tell us a bit about uh, the chi and the chinese body clock well the chinese body clock is a way that they've discovered uh, to keep your body in homeostasis, in balance, in health, and enrichment, and in order for the body to function as it should function when it comes to digestion, clearing toxins, replenishing blood, uh, keeping the spirit uh, in, in harmony, uh, your mind to be at ease, you should be following a body's clock cycle because every organ has its own emotions and its own time management. So when you go out of time and you have a disruption in your in your routine, for instance, your clock routine, your body clock, it may cause imbalance and uh, some discomfort, leading to disease and other conditions, and irritability and imbalance. Okay, but like over the like the clock has twenty four hours. Okay. You're going to, excuse me, you're going to go down to the my clock, level today. Yes, the clock, the usual clock 12. is 24 hours. Is that what it is in the, in the Chinese body clock as well? Yes, but with the Chinese body clock, they've uh, 12 hours and then the other 12 hours. So we're divided in yin and yang, like night and day. Kind of. Ah, so okay. one is at rest and the other one is at digestion. So it depends on what time when the body is supposed to be functioning according to the organ system. Okay, so b before you move to the clock, let me ask you and the picture and the poster. Does that mean that when we're sleeping, it's the yang? The yang? The, the yang should be at ease. At ease. So During okay. sleep, yin yeah. is is going to change into gradual yin. But it's functioning yang. as well. You have organs function. that function during that phase as well. A hundred percent. The the yin phase is the most important phase to replenish the body. Tell me something before you start again. Does love function when we're asleep, or? <laughs> Replenishes oh. us for the next day in order to give. Oh my support. God, that's going to be exciting. I was just yeah. joking, but it turned out it's true. Okay. Oh, it's going to be a topic on this, and you'll understand why. <laughs> okay, so where are we going to start? At what uh, hour of the day? We're going to start with the yin or the yang? Okay. Well, Yin kind of. Okay. So uh, we, we'll just start by saying something about the clock cycle. Okay. Uh, so it's a during the 24 hour it, of the, the body's clock cycle, a chi is thought to move in two hour intervals. 
So, okay. every, so between 1 and 3 a.m. there is something happening. Between 3 and 5 there's another organ working. Another 5 to 7 another organ working. So we're going to be talking about that kind of interval. And um, because it's an organ system, so they have to correlate with each other and harmonize with each other in order to communicate with so, so this is why we're going to start with, maybe we'll, we will start with the, the lungs okay. or the liver. Okay. Okay, the liver between 1 and 3 in the morning. Let's do that. We'll do the 1 and 3 in the morning, okay. which, is, which is the liver, which is the liver time. Okay, so first you have to understand the, what the liver does. The, the liver stores the blood, um, it manages the, the muscles and the sinews. Um, I'm, I'm going to read from some notes because I, I want to give the best of my ability that I've prepared for you today. Okay, we're okay, ready. So we, so we have to understand what the liver does in order to know uh, how it's going to function during sleep. Okay. Okay. So it controls tendons. It manifests in the nails. So when you have nail I think we um Are you hearing me? Uh yeah, you cut off a bit from me i don't know if you cut off generally or it's just at my end but uh, yes we are hearing you go ahead the liver manifests in the eyes the Yeah. Okay, so let's hope that the internet is strong. Okay. It's working well? Okay. Now, so now it is restored. Three. We're going to go back to the liver, please. Yeah, so the liver, liver time is between 1 and 3 in the morning. Okay. So when you feel, you, you will, it stores the blood. So it's, it's supposed to store the blood in order to uh, have all the toxins become releasing from the body. You have to be at rest at this time. One and three in the morning, um, it's the best time for the liver. If you feel, uh, if you wake up at this time between one and three in the morning with a frustration or anger, you've got unresolved issues with the liver. So wow. we've, got to, we've got to solve that emotion. So you've got to be in touch with your emotions when you're looking at the body clock cycle. Okay. Yeah, you got to be aware, why, why did I wake up at this time? What was I thinking? What is going through my, my mind, my body, my health? Yeah, maybe you've got disorders of, of uh, lots of tension, muscular tension. Uh, maybe you've got disorders of the, the, the blood even. So okay. we've got to be looking at that. Okay. And okay. the liver, the liver works on the nails, on the vision. Yeah, the eyes. So, the, for instance, if you've got eye problems or headaches that are going towards the eyes, we'll know to treat the liver as well and the blood. Okay. Liver and blood. Okay. Yeah, so, so, this is from blood, 1 to 3 a.m. That was from 1 to 3 a.m. Okay. 1 to 3 a.m. The body should be asleep, so the toxins are being released from the body and fresh new blood is made at this time okay you will wake up if you wake up with this time uh, there's problems of detoxification I hate, I hope we don't get uh, that connection. Okay, we are back. I'm glad. Yeah. You're back yeah, at 3 a.m. <laughs> Let me check what's this connection. 
You're back at 3 a.m. <laughs> yeah, I'm on the right the right connection. Okay. Let me see what else is going on. Yeah. All right, so that's the liver. We move from 1 to 3 a.m. to 3 to 5 a.m. And that would be the lungs. So the lungs is an interesting one. Because the lungs, if it's, if, it regard, if it's regarding emotion, it's grief and sadness. So if you're waking up between 1 and 3 a.m., you're, you're looking at uh, some sadness in your life. We've just got to find that out. Okay, the body should be asleep. Are you having a connection problems as well with me? No, now I can hear you. You can hear? Okay, if uh, if the body is asleep, if awake, nerve soothing exercises should be done. So some meditation, meditating in order to be able to sleep. Uh, can you reconnect, so please? Can you reconnect, please, to your email? You, can you please go to your email and reconnect? Let go of uh, the phone, just the laptop, please. I thought the network was better today. Now you're on your laptop. We're just reconnecting with you uh, so we can have the connection on Facebook. We're just waiting for uh, Dr. Alia to come uh, back with us. She's with us on Instagram, but uh, otherwise I won't be able to uh, share it on uh, Facebook as well. So just bear with me a minute until Dr. Alia is back. Uh, we asked her to re-log in via her email and uh, waiting for her she's back with us you need We're to back. connect your mic and uh, as uh, as well okay do you know need to, to remove, remove the the phone no or wait one second stay with me stay with me please one second let me get the vo volume can you speak please dr alia uh, yeah, I can. I can yeah, hear you. I can hear you on both as well. Okay, we're connected both back, uh, Facebook and Instagram. Apologies for the disconnection, guys. Okay, Dr. Alia. So between three and uh, five in the morning, it is the lungs we are uh, between. That's, That's right. right. So okay. this is the best time to be sleeping. Okay. Best time for meditation. So if you wake up at this time, you you would have some sadness or grief. In order to feel better at this time, meditation is the key. If you're sleeping, you don't get up for meditation between three and five. It's only if you're not sleeping. It's only if you're not sleeping. But if you're sleeping, you gotta do some breathing exercises in order to calm the lungs. So the best the best breathing exercise and we mentioned we talked a lot about breathing last uh, Friday yeah and and I should have mentioned that if you want to know if you're breathing well put your right hand on your abdomen and your left hand on your chest if your right if your right hand is moving and your left your left uh, hand is rising then you're breathing well so you got to have both arms both hands working simultaneously you got to yeah so that that's going to kind of calm your lungs yes okay 
So yeah. if we wake up between 3 and 5 a.m., we need to yes. practice breathing and meditation to relax meditation. the lungs. Yes, yes, exactly. Okay, so that's the lung and the liver. So we've, we've gone from anger to grief. <laughs> And then okay. we've got then we've got between five and seven a.m. is your large intestine. So five and seven is your large intestine. So obviously, the large intestine is going to be the the organ of cleansing, the digestive organ. So it's the perfect time for a bowel, bowel movement for five and seven a.m. Waking up at that time is great. Remove toxins before the day. You remove your toxins before your day starts. And best time to comb your hair. Best time to comb your hair in order to release. Yes, in order to release all the 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 negative thoughts that you may have had at night. In you know in the morning. So comb your hair out from all the negative. Thoughts. Is it hair related or is it scalp related? The brushing, uh, the massage of the skull. Yes. yes. Well, it's when you comb your hair well, you're pulling, so it will replenish ah, the skull. Okay. Yeah. And then remove any kind of evil thoughts or bad right. negative thoughts that you may you may have been holding on to. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so the, and and you may you may have a feeling between this time, which is five and seven, which is the large intestine time, it, is you may have a feeling of feeling stuck or defensive, like defensiveness, not able to do anything. Okay. Yeah, this is this is something that you've got to feel and notice. And if you do have this, then we've got a uh, maybe you've got a uh, you know like a bowel. Not, not bowel, bowel and not, not, movement, not enough movement of your bowel at this time, at this time. not enough not cleansing. Enough cleansing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. Interesting. Okay. okay. So, so we move to seven to nine. So now we've moved from five to seven, large intestine to seven to nine, which is the stomach. The best time for breakfast. Five and seven, like seven and nine in the morning. Best time for breakfast. Okay, okay. we're back. <laughs> we're going to have a few issues this morning. Okay, we're back. We're back. Hey, hey, great, great, hey, great. Great, great, great. So, where so this is the stomach. Is the stomach time. Okay. Yeah. All right. So where do dreams stomach. fall? Where do dreams fall? Well, well it, it, depends it depends because dreams can come in different ways. If if you're having large intestine uh, problems, sometimes you dream of crowds. You dream of too many crowds, a lot of crowds, which is just that feeling that you've got too much going on down there in your abdomen, in your bowels. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So this is the best time to eat between seven and nine in the morning is the best time to have breakfast so the biggest meal of the day should be the, the breakfast. breakfast because the this is at the the beginning of the yang, yang you're, you're, raising you're raising to you're rising, rising to the, to the yang, yang and, and you've and already you've emptied, emptied out your bowels okay you've already you emptied out your bowels so you a have process um, um, eat the biggest, the biggest meal and, and, uh, and optimal uh, digestion and absorption. So you've got the best time is to digest and absorb your food. Okay. Uh, and, and, and at this time between seven and nine, which is the stomach, uh, you could have the emotion of despair. Are we having trouble with internet. our internet? It's logging on and uh, off your back and your end. You're in. Yeah. On Instagram, right. you're in. The problem yeah. is the so, laptop. So, the laptop, yeah. Laptop, yeah. But it's back on. So, uh, okay. So you okay, could have so the feeling have of the feeling of disgust, disgust and, despair. and despair. That's if the stomach may be having some uh, issues of indigestion and rotting. So you have been okay. eating foods that do not work well for your stomach, and that's why you have the feeling of disgust. Or despair it's also according to what's in your stomach that is rotting so what they say okay. is if you have fruits with your food 
if you're eating fruits straight after your big meal, that means that you, your food, your fruits may be rotting in there because you cannot have that in two, the two mixtures together. You should either have your food and normally try not to have too many tastes and stuff, like have subtle taste according to what you really need. And that's another, that's another subject altogether, the taste and organs. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, anyways, that as well we discussed with uh, Joel when you wake up to nine from seven to nine to nine and eleven a.m., which is the, with the nutritious uh, studies uh, Joel, uh, our dietitian, gave us. She said have breakfast in the morning, like uh, an hour to two after uh, you wake up, and that after drinking water, etc., and then. Have some breakfast and then like an hour or two, you're not hearing me. I am now. We're calling back Alia. Hello, guys. I truly apologize for the network. But very the bad connection. <laughs> we have to try. If I disconnect. The session will disappear. Okay. Alia, you're back. I am back, but the computer is not back. No? On the computer, you're on. Yeah. Am I? Okay. Yeah. And okay. So between 9 and 11, We've moved on from the stomach to the spleen. The, these two organs work simultaneously with each other, with the two-hour difference. Uh, one, one is a digestive order. <laughs> We're not doing well today. Reconnect. Uh, Yara, uh, Dr. Alia is here in Lebanon, but it looks like we're facing... Uh, difficulties That's with the network. Uh, it's not... Yeah. Don't let me get started on what's coming ahead. <laughs> Other difficulties as well, but we are smiling and hoping for the best. Yes, we are. I don't know why this is happening, to be honest. Let me check this. This is very weird. Okay, so let's hope. It will connect. That is working now. Yeah. I think people have become confused, but at the same time, they're they're irritated with what's happening with the internet, but they're really excited to know what's next. No, I want to know what's next. I always loved that topic and loved how the body is uh, seriously when they say like we are a clock yes we are a clock it's as if like you have to wake up uh, eat drink use the bathroom go to work eat drink use the bathroom go to work keep hydrated etc this routine that is a body clock as well it comes in the chinese medicine but for the organs and this is what's interesting it's funny how, how much is it in science that you were able to track that until we get back uh, on the laptop? Um, no, no, I think, I think science um, uh, translates things in their own way, except with Chinese medicine, it's more of a philosophical cool view, view of the, okay. the organs. Okay, we're back. But, 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 Western medicine is not going to go into details as much as Chinese medicine because Chinese medicine is more pedantic about every little thing, like every energy change, every emotional aspect. Or whereas Western medicine is going to look at time, how long it's going to take for this food to digest in, before it goes to the next organ, and what's going to happen okay. after this. Yes. Whereas but we have a connection between mind and body. Yeah, but in Chinese medicine, you do connect, you can track the deficiency wherever it is in the organs, correct? 
Definitely, you, you, it's, and it's also not just efficiency, but excesses. So yeah. we can track when, when there are not, no real issues going on where the body is in harmony, it's saying I'm not craving anything today because my body is not asking for much as it's not excess or deficient. So I'm in harmony with my body and my working in harmony. So okay. when, when your body is craving, for instance, sweets, it's, it's trying to replenish the blood. You we'll have a deficiency. Maybe you don't have enough energy. Maybe your digestion is not strong enough. So naturally, you will, you will, your body will crave something. But you hopefully are choosing the right sweet, like sweet potato, for instance. You know, okay. yeah. yeah, we started the week with sweet potato and Joel because she said it's very high in fiber and very healthy. Yeah. Add it to your salad, bring it back home. Okay, yes, and we're ending the week with you with sweet potato. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's and the sweet potato is going to help with low back pain, even because it nourishes the kidneys, nourishes the kidneys. And, wow. it, and it helps okay. with low back pain. So you should be eating that in, for breakfast in the morning in order to replenish those kidneys, the kidneys back and give the blood the, wow. the, the blood some tonification. Yeah. Okay. So I'm not choosing sugar, white processed sugar. I'm choosing a natural sweet. Okay, I did promise yeah. you at one point, you and Joel, you're going to be on the same uh, episode. Okay. Because I think we can connect uh, your thoughts because you both think alike and I like yeah. exactly what you're saying. Okay. So let's go to the spleen between 9 to 11 a.m. This is, this is when you need to clear mind from thinking. This is when the body is digesting. So this is the strongest time. After you've had breakfast, this is now your body is digesting. Uh, and you may feel the process. process. It's the best time to clear your mind. So not to really think about much. And also, it, the spleen is converting your foods into energy. So okay. this is another aspect. As but to for not working to people, cause any this is for working people, this is a key time of the day between 9 and 11 where most of the production uh, happens. You know that the latest study will tell you that people can produce in four hours what they spend eight hours to do. Yeah, the, pe the people will effectively work four hours a day. Not you, nor I, uh, Alia, I know that. But you know, if uh, effectively they tell you this is how much people can produce per day they, uh -huh. when they okay. it's like when they tell you that the brain cannot handle more than nine tasks okay if you have more than nine tasks, tasks. Hey. yeah nine tasks so if you have 10 tasks complete one so you can start loading your memory with the tenth one to produce it into uh, ac active uh, into an activity or so. So this is why uh -huh. it's like everything is similar. Uh -huh. If you connect different studies together, this is how it is. So here you're telling us, you know, between nine and eleven, it's the best time for the between nine is the best. It's time for digestion, time and, for digestion breakfast. and breakfast, uh, uh, a digestion, uh, digestion with the spleen, with, spleen, with tonification of blood and spleen, and, spleen. and foods into okay. energy. Okay. Food okay, again. so now yes. we're moving into uh, the, the heart sector, which has been 11 and 1. So 11 and 1 is the strongest, uh, the blood circulation is at its strongest. So uh, the heart, the heart, uh, it's, it's probably the best time to stay calm because your heart is filling up your blood and your vessels with a lot of blood cells, with a lot more circulation. Okay. Okay. Hello. When, when the heart channel is at disharmony, you, normally you have someone here have way too much enjoyment, uh, excitement, 
and uh, uh, overjoyed. overjoyed. Okay. Sometimes, Sometimes it can be overjoyed. Uh, okay. And, and um, this, is this is the heart channel. So it pumps nutrients around the body. Good time to eat lunch. Because a light cooked meal, a light cooked meal. Because remember, the best time to have the best, the biggest meal is for breakfast. Okay. And having a one-hour nap at this time would, would be good. For me. Okay. <laughs> to stay calm. Okay. So, okay, so to to be honest, the heart channel and the intestine channel they're so linked together because you've had your break, you've digested your breakfast, you've had your break, and now you do the 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 eating another digestive process so you're going to need more rest and more calm to digest the the small intestines going to digest what you just had for lunch so this is the process where the good and the bad bad get uh, filtered okay so the good will go to the blood and the heart is going to fill that up with blood and the small intestine is going to have the toxins co go into the small intestine in order to be released for digestion. Okay. This is the, the filtration of nutrients. Okay. Uh, our extreme joy or extreme sadness when there's an imbalance here between, yeah, between the 11 and 1 p.m. Yes. Okay. Okay. So this the best time to stay calm. We said that. So stay calm. Walk in the sun. Walk outdoor. Have some fresh air. Get your blood circulating. Have a light soup. The best time is for blood circulation. The best time for blood circulation. So between one and three, you've got your small intestine. We've spoken about that. So the, the food that's been eaten earlier, between 11 and 1, is going to be completed in digestion and assimilation. So that's the process of digestion being done right now. Good time for daily exercise or daily tasks. Okay. Good time because your body is full of circulation circulated now. Uh, at, but the small intestine, because of its reducing the toxins and cleansing, separation and stuff, you may have the, the feeling of abandon or vulnerability. So that's the emotion that the small intestine might give you between 1 and 3 p.m. It's the, the feeling of vulnerability, feeling vulnerable and abandoned. Okay. Depending on the process of elimination. Okay. Yes. Yes. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. It's interesting. It's interesting. You gotta just be observed. This is the time where on. after lunch people start thinking, thinking, okay, where is he or where yes. is she? How did the thing happen? That's when probably yes. the yes, emotions it, come to surface. The emotions come to before yes. sunset. The abandonment emotions. Exactly. Yes. So maybe if so someone's left somebody, then you get more vulnerable at this time to to the the separation or the abandonment, separation anxiety. So those are yeah. the ne okay. So we don't call them the negative feelings. Let's call them the extreme emotions will pop to surface during digestion. You can say that after yeah. the lunch time. It depends on what you've eaten. Like if you're eating bad food, your small intestine is going to be working over time trying to remove all the, the, the negativity of the food that you've eaten. And this may show up as abandonment and vulnerability. So it's best to always have good food so you can have good thoughts. Okay, we'll try. We're gonna try. We have a lot on our agenda. I'm telling you, between you and Joel, we have a lot to try. Yeah. <laughs> At least you put you gave Between us three. the sweet potatoes. So those we're gonna agree on. Yeah, the sweet potato is actually good. I bought some today. Between three and <laughs> really? You're gonna bake them? Because of no, I'm gonna do them tomorrow morning and have one for breakfast. Especially Perfect. that this is what Joel as well. You both agreed on that. So I'm gonna try it tomorrow morning. Yes. You see how it's 
You see how it's all connected? Yes. It's all connected. It's because medicine, the, the traditional medicine is there. It's there's no changes are required for the, the ancient medicine because it's followed through. This this is a cycle of life. This doesn't it's it's it doesn't need any work done. No changes need to be done. The only change that needs to be done is on yourself because life is is perfect as it is and the cycle is perfect as, as it is it's just up to you to keep it maintained and 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 uh, schedule I actually <laughs> manage to the way i view cultures when i look at the asian culture i see uh, i see calmness i see uh, I see uh, culture, I, I see greenery, while if I look at uh, the, let's say, what do, uh, uh, American culture, you see people rushing, rushing to work, rushing to, uh, like, uh, you see the production in both, while to me, one represents like, calmness and like communication and uh, etc uh, and planting probably harvesting etc while the other you move towards like work and uh, like you're out of time and you feel the day is rushing before you you have to rush 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 to work you don't find time with you time for you so this yeah. is probably people need to find it's not the the culture as much as it is the person you need to give yourself that time to yes, breathe that's true to think yes, true. to eat healthy yeah. to yeah. walk you see this is why most western cultures uh, are they're living in that fast cycle system and they have so many health issues they they eat and run at the same time they work through the times where it should be relaxing and 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 no thoughts and just digesting and eating slowly with a certain time they're not doing any of that they either skip meals or they go through stressful meetings when it should be no meetings yeah yeah this is actually <laughs> what we were discussing bless you the other day how important ta time is and how important it is when you are calm how you reflect your energy around you <coughs> if you That's are right. positive right. if you are calm if you are speaking in a and uh, like while if you're breathing while speaking etc all those they reflect the environment where you are it's the, it's you you spread your uh, vibes on your surrounding and this is something people uh, truly need to uh, work on themselves when they do that bless you yeah that's, that's true. true thank you bless you Okay. So, so we're moving to 3 and 5 p.m., which is the bladder time. Okay, so, you know, with all the foods that, that that's turning to cheat into energy, you've also got the, the fluids that is being passed through the small intestine that's going to pass now through the bladder. And the good the good fluid going into the, the circulation and the, and, and, and the stomach to replenish the... And the bad is going to be released from the bladder. So the bladder is like waste moved into the kidneys. So the kidneys are going to handle the filtration system that's coming from the bladder. And the best time to complete a challenging work. This is the best time to actually use your mind power. Between three, between three and five is the best time for meetings. Okay, because you're you're removed removed all the um the excess toxins digestion's been done now it's time for your brain to function again. It no you're no longer in your digestion you're now up here again. So okay. You can use your thoughts. That means you're not disrupting the flow of digestion. Okay. So between three and five is the best time for meetings. Okay. Oh, okay. Or if you want to fight with somebody, or have an argument, or disagreement, or whatever, it's yeah, just time don't to do challenge it between something. one and three. <laughs> you 
You don't do it between one and three because one and three is the time where you're eating and your thoughts are not regulated. They're down there in your in your in your food. Okay, which is so good. You shouldn't be you shouldn't be eating and thinking at the same time, otherwise you'll cause some indigestion and metabolic issues. Exactly. Digestive problems. Exactly. Yes. Okay, so you finished your um you know the emotion of the the bladder you're going to have some irritation you're going to be irritated by something you will feel irritable yeah and timid so um, you just don't want to you know you just want to uh, feel it and let go yeah so just don't worry if that happens this is normal this is the cleansing process another cleansing process of fluids um, the, between five and seven is the best time for uh, winding down. You finished your meeting, and now you're between five and seven. You should be home by now, relaxing, winding down, getting your thoughts together, and um, you you may have uh, the emotion of fear if this. If this is an, in, uh, an imbalance in this area of the kidneys, you may feel uh, more excess of fear. And also, towards the night, you may have lower back pain because of uh, the, the, you know, the excess of energy and fear. It's being depleted. Your kidney is no longer in the fire zone. It's not, it's not enough strength. You're tired, you're exhausted. You're exhausted if you exhausted your day. So you should be resting. Okay. Yes. And, and this is the emotion of fear comes into into process here. And More that's when the sweet potatoes now, come in. During lockdown, during this phase where, uh, you know, it's after the sun is down, you feel that really... Uh, that really you are uh, isolated alone especially yeah. when you're, <laughs> you're alone, alone uh, you feel that okay that's it yeah yeah so okay so that's true this is the, this is the uh, uh, you know not a situation that we want to stay in for a long time it's just a bit of a weird situation hopefully we'll be out of it very soon we will and I yeah, promise exactly. you that everyone who survived those uh, two years will be granted two extra years in his life. Aha, uh -huh. nice. Yeah, nice. nice. I promise you All that. Right. Okay. Hello. Yes. Yes. So just survive it, stay healthy, mentally healthy, mentally sane. Uh, try to remain positive, giving uh, Alia time to move to uh, between seven and nine. And I promise between you, after and this nine. ordeal yes. is over, you're gonna all be granted the number of years you lived under confinement. Okay, hello, yes, I like you're yes. very positive, you give people hope. I know. I got the contract, yes. but I yes. can't give it to you. So just take it from me. <laughs> take my word for it. I do take your word for it. I believe in this okay. situation. Yes, I hope so. We're going to be rewarded at the end of the day. <laughs> yes. So what's so going to happen between seven, five, and uh, seven and nine? So seven and nine is your pericardium so you've gone through the fear and the exhaustion and now the pericardium is that muscle that protects the heart the, it's going to save your heart from the stresses of the day so your pericardium is the one that is your is the, the support system and the defense so that stress doesn't attack the heart and this is um th this is an emotion um it's, it's more like, uh, if it's a bit weird to, because it's more like an attack. You don't want this to attack. You just want to stay calm so it doesn't get to the heart, you know? The stress doesn't get to the heart. This um, is the pericardium, and it's also called the circulation phase. So this is when all the nutrients are carried to the capillaries. So they carry to the capillaries to the cells. 
in order to replenish the body again. A perfect time to read, perfect time to, uh, to introduce uh, a, a simple, non-stressful method into your life where it's coming. So just to wind down, uh, uh, to avoid mental activity. Uh, difficulty in expressing emotion, this is the pericardium. It's, uh, it's not able to express emotion. So it's, it's like a, a, a wall at the heart. The wall at the heart. Because remember, the heart is full of joy and expression. There is the pericardium is blocking this sensation due to stresses, so you cannot express very well. Um, and this is a good one as well. Between seven and nine, because of the full circulation that's happening, for women who are ovulating, this is the best time to conceive. So, uh, between seven and nine is a good time for women to conceive at ovulation. Okay. Because the mind is at rest and the blood is at its best. Okay. So, ladies yes. out there, so, between seven and nine, it's the best time for ovulation. Make sure you don't have the screaming and the, the loud the crowd around you. Just get yourself in the mood and let's produce more babies for this world uh, alia before yes, you right. move forward i want to ask yes. you what time is best for someone to go to bed and do you recommend within that within this 24 hours nap time relaxation time laying down time any of those well, we, we had the, the, the nap time, which was between 11 and 1, when you've had an early lunch. Okay. Between 11 and 1, we had an early lunch, and that's when you have a siesta. Okay. And, you know, and then you've got between 1 and 3, you, your digestion process has been has happened. That's when you wake up. Best time for meeting after that, between 3 and 5. And then you're winding down again with finishing meetings, between 5 and 7, and you've got... Your, uh, your ovulation, you, if you're having babies, you want to have a baby between seven and nine, and the best time to have a slight, a small a, a supper, okay. some dinner, a hot di dinner. Yes. Anyways, we hot call it dinner. a power nap. So the nap doesn't have to be for an extended hour. A 10 minute nap sometimes will refresh the brain, the body, everything. You wake up fresh as new. That's why we call it the power nap. Yes. So we, I encourage all of you no, that's right. yeah, to take that nap. Even that's if you don't want to sleep, lay, just lay down. Yes, and and we're coming into the best time for sleep, which is very, very soon, because we're now at the 11 to 1 a.m., which is the gold better time. This is the best time to sleep. The 11 Between 11 is a good time to sleep at 11 p.m. But you Hello. missed 9 Between to 11. 11. To 12 p.m. You missed 9 to 11. We've done the we've done the 9 to 11. We did 9 to 11. No, we missed. Uh, we didn't do 9 to 11. No. Uh huh. Okay. So we from 9 to 11. We we are calling this the triple heater. This is when the the three areas of the body from our heart lungs then we've got the digestion and then we've got the kidney bladder this is when they're working in honey and uh, th this is the best time to stay warm to stay indoors and warm not have a cold feeling because you need to have regular temperatures for the homeostasis to be having communication with all organs on every level the three levels of them which is called triple heater triple gel san gel san is three in chinese and um, it's adjusting the enzymes and replenishing all the, the cells that have been wasted through the day. It's, an, it's a process of uh, reproduction again. Okay. 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 Um, best time to sleep between uh, at 11 o'clock. So they're, they're saying between 9 and 11. I, I think 9 is a bit too early. And let's say from 11 o'clock to be more realistic. Let's leave it to the end stage. 11 o'clock is a good time to sleep. Because you remember, most people need eight hours of sleep. So, like me, I need eight hours of sleep. If I don't get eight hours of sleep, I'm irritable the next morning. 
So I'm going to be waking up at seven. <laughs> seven in the morning. And and this time between nine and eleven, if the if the body is not communicating well with each other in regards to temperature and uh, and and communication, you, the emotion is going to be going to be confusion and paranoia. So there's going to be a, a little bit of paranoid uh, thoughts and some confusion. So this is not a good time to have an eye, you know, a head on kind of like an argument with people because your body is going through not their body. This is why your experience of paranoia, not them. So it's best to realize this so you don't have a clash with your, your partner or other people surrounding you. Okay, so tell me again, when does love uh, form all the positive thoughts and the emotions? This is, this is between seven and nine. So this is the, the pericardium, your protection of the heart. Okay. So this is when it's best time to uh, have love making, a little bit of supper, stay warm, and have this love connection. Yeah, so if you want to propose, propose between seven and nine. Yes, yes, between seven and nine, which is perfect. You're right. Okay. Actually, do it at seven, so that way you can make babies by nine. And if you want to escape a fight, come speak to your spouse or like partner between seven and nine. So because at this time, the, the partner, the other person is at a serene time so you have more chances this of getting your, away with murder during that time the, you've you've done the love making between seven and nine now that between nine and eleven is when you don't have the conflict because of the paranoia that's coming out because of imbalances between communications of organs okay so that was between nine and eleven you don't want to have so you prefer there they discuss issues so you prefer that the discussions of issues take place between uh, 9 and 11? Because they won't take because place, won't because there's going to be love there. <laughs> okay. The pericardium is protecting the heart. Ah, okay, yes. that's a good one. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, Dr. Okay. Alia? Yes. Discussing, uh, going back to our main topic, that is the body clock in Chinese medicine. How can we uh, really take care of our body? Because as we saw that every two hours of the day, you have yeah. an organ that is moving into action, taking like the lead in the body, so to say. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So, how so can we help our body remain healthy and uh, sane? Specifically, that those organs they affect the mental stage. Every uh, two hours, you have like an organ that is affecting the mental status of the person. Well, let me tell you, we've done the, the time management and the organs and. With, we have the yin and yang, which every two hours it goes from yin to yang, from from to digestion, from tonification to digestion, and then it repeats and repeats again and again. So we're going from wood, fire, earth, metal, water. So if the body cycle is following the elements as a um, you know as a govern as a governing cycle in harmony, uh, the wood. And, and the metal are supposed to work in harmony together. So with, if, if wood and fire are working against each other, because if you, wood is going to be burnt by fire. And fire, if, it's burnt, if the wood is burnt with the fire, it's going to make earth. So earth, you will find metals and other uh, 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 minerals and other things from the earth. And that is going to supply us from there into the water zone get deeper you'll find water and because you've gone deeper you'll find wood so it will replenish again this is the the balancing cycle but if your body is attacking and you're not doing the cycle uh you're 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 miscommunicating with the cycle 
uh, your body is going to start to control and you don't want that you don't want no control to happen so you, you know that that means that the water is going to turn off the fire you don't want fire to turn off because fire is is the is the energy it's the life that's bringing things around yeah and and then you know um the wood is going to cut through the earth you don't want that you want things to stay in harmony so we we've got you know we've got to stay in balance and um and staying in balance requires the schedule if you can if you can abide <laughs> don't abide because that's control if you can just uh you know live naturally um, through the cycle, the cycle you you can have you can have a, a good health so basically you have to enjoy every uh, element the fire the water the metal and the wood yeah, and you have to go elements. with the flow with each yeah. and nurture they it are to survive they are to remain healthy already but you're the one that's disrupting the flow. So it's like saying nature can live without us, but we cannot live without nature. Because if you treat your body like nature, well, then you will start to see fruits. But if you treat your body like a mechanic, you know, remove this part of your body and, and put another part in, then you're going to live like a mechanic, you know? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah, like farming. Let me, uh, yeah, let, I'm one of the people. I, I, on a personal level, I do enjoy the rain. Yeah, I love it. When it rains, I feel that it's a blessing. I enjoy the thunder. Sometimes I feel that it's expressing our emotions. I and every time there is a little sunshine during the storm, I go sit on that little chair. Okay, in the sun, as if like I feel it's uh, shining upon me for me to energy. So uh, by that, I just want to say that take advantage of everything that's happening around you. Sometimes, uh, let me give you a simple example. If we were in regular condition, Dr. Alia wouldn't have been with us on uh, social media. Uh, sharing yeah. her knowledge yeah. with all of you so, so we, just we take advantage of every situation and this is one of them dr mm, Ali, would you like to say anything before we wrap up well look i think uh, if you go against uh, what is meant to be and if you go against the free flow of whatever it is that's meant to happen then you're destroying your chance to be happy so if you can just let it be and let go and let things happen the way they should happen without having any control or any kind of like force to stop it or not because it's going to happen anyway so just let it go and be you know be at ease with nature and what is next and what it is what is because that's the Tao. at the end of the day Taoism is you know just live your life as it should be you know as it as it counts the way is the way of life dr alia what you just said is something extremely important because this is one of the key things we teach people like when there is a crisis let's deal with the crisis not live the crisis because like the crisis is here for me, for you, for everyone. So let us try to survive it, to deal with it until it passes and then sunshine again. Yeah, because if you deal with it the way that you should be dealing with it, it will solve itself. It will solve itself. You will look back and go, how did I do that? Well, you didn't, you just let it be. Yeah, exactly. Especially that some things are out of our control. So let us not try to control them. Let us try to control the way we feel and the way we react. And as I told one of my colleagues today, uh, in life, sometimes uh, with your reaction, you teach people to act differently. Because yeah. like, what's important in conflicts is the way you react. 
but sometimes it's your reaction to things, the way you communicate at the end and side, how people change their attitude in the future and the way they talk. So hello, hi, Sam, you just joined us, but you can watch the session later. Dr. Alia, you had a large crowd tonight. Uh, I'm glad people got used to you. We're going to get back again next week, but I don't know if Dr. Alia has something else to, we're going to give her time to think about things before uh, we connect uh, with her again. Uh, we're back and Dr. Alia, thank you so much for your precious time and for your generous uh, knowledge and what you have to offer us always. Looking forward to seeing you again and guys, you know that you can contact Alia via uh, Facebook or Instagram or uh, myself. Send me whatever questions you have, I'll give you her contact. Anyways, she's available and she's a lovely lady person. So thank, thank you, you, Alia. Take care. Mm, thank Stay you, safe, Nadia. everyone. Thank you thank so you. much. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>